We all know it. New Orleans has potholes. Mm -hmm. It's a fact about our city streets that we've unfortunately gotten used to. But what's at Ursulines and Charters is a bit more than our regular pothole. Alyssa Curtis takes us to that French Quarter intersection. The sinkhole at the intersection of Ursulines Avenue and Charter Street has people disappointed, but not surprised. It's so New Orleans. It's so per perfectly New Orleans. <laughs> Shane Hashi used to live down the street. Now he's back visiting. He says he's of course used to potholes. It was a lot of potholes tearing up my car. Um, never know what to expect. Come around the corner one day and you might have a new pothole. But says this is on a different level. It was impressive. It's, it's, the, it's, it's the biggest pothole I've ever seen, <laughs> even in New Orleans. Leah Levkowitz works a few feet away from the massive pit. She says she noticed a pretty normal sized pothole about a week ago. We did see that there were barrels and tape already around, but it was only a hole that was about, you know, a, a foot and a half wide. And as we walked up to it, we could see gravel falling down into the hole. According to Sewerage and Waterboard, they opened the street because there was a depression. They say they found two issues, a sewer issue, which has been repaired, and an 18-inch drain line that needs fixing. SWB tells us the Department of Public Works will repair the line before closing the street. So I have a tape measure here, and this sinkhole is measuring out to be 10 feet wide and almost 6 feet deep. Some people are worried that someone might fall in or try and drive over it. Somebody must have moved part of the blockade because the hole wasn't so big then, and cars were just going by, and I was just worried that it was going to come crashing in. Because when you looked at the original hole, like the depth of the asphalt is only a couple of inches, so you know that's all got to be a weak area. The city says they hope to get the project started Monday, June 12th at the latest. At Ursulines and Charters, Alyssa Curtis, Eyewitness News. According to the city, they've hired an outside company to do the work. There's no timeline on when the work will be complete.